give it up. Warm welcome for Tally Heath. Yeah. They do exist, Caroline. It's not my imagination. It's something I do, have done before. If I land a really three-star macho man, you know, the whole image. Never stops telling you what a great time he's going to give you. He's going to have you really calling out, you know, like drowning. And all this is whispered at you or licked at you from the back of his MG or yelled in your face on his Yamaha, getting a great gob full of whatever. Garlic grease, fag smoke and fucking brute. Always brute, or prick, or stud, or whatever else they can dream up to call that unpleasant smell. Which masks that other unpleasant smell. The smell of them getting turned on to you, and they want to get it up through your tights in some car park, so they don't have to deal with you afterwards, you know? Because they've got no feeling, nothing. Dead eyes, dead bodies. So what I do is this. I give him Mr. God's gift. I give him the real penthouse cliche. I lick my lips, I touch myself, scream a bit, act scared when he steps out of his knickers like awestruck. <laughs> I get so very excited in the first number, I always try to break something, preferably something expensive, because I'm so mad for it. And I call out all the right words. And I can get it done in a few minutes. And there he is, slack-jawed, grinning, notching me up on the bow, three quarters asleep. So I leave him there a few minutes. And kiss him like it was love. And then I get going on for round two. <laughs> well, bit of a laugh. Bit nervous now, Mr. God's gift, bit sheepish. But I'm good, okay? And he gets some response. And this is going to be a great story for his pals in the morning. You should have seen this slag. She couldn't get enough of it. And he makes ride number two. Sometimes he makes ride number three. But he's losing. And he's worried, and he's sore, and he's fucking terrified. And the next time I make certain he falls apart. And I'm surprised. I'm quite disappointed he can't make it. I even get angry with him. And then I come home. Getting dressed. Stand under that shower and scrub him off me. And if I could stand boiling water, I'd boil myself clean to the fucking marrow. Nice one.